Tara Minute. Thank you, President. Colleagues, as we speak, big companies are buying land of people throughout Africa, buying the land where people cultivate the, the food that they need to eat. They buy all this using corruption with weak governments. These companies pay back 3% of taxes or even less, nothing. This leads to famine and poverty. At the same time, the hike in prices because of the use of food crops for the production of biofuels is leading to poverty, famine and unrest, emigration throughout the, the, the poorest part of the world. At the same time, beautiful pristine forests, so necessary for Earth, are being chopped down in order that this land is used illegally or legally for cultivations of these energy crops, using, leading to more emissions, which is the link between poverty, famine and more emissions. The link is that it's fueled many times by our European policies, by six billion, more than six billion euros of indirect and, and direct subsidies coming from our European policies on biofuels. We made a mistake and we have to correct this mistake. That's why the Socialist Group is proposing, is supporting the 5.5% cap, is supporting a 2.5% target for second generation biofuels, is supporting ILUX factors from 18 onwards on both directives, RED and FQD. Thank you very much. Dziękuję bardzo. A teraz w imieniu e, europejskich konserwatystów i reformatorów pani poseł Julie Gerling. Bardzo proszę. Thank you, Mr. President. Commissioner, like everyone else here, I've certainly spent a lot of time looking at the details of this proposal.